In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a table that allows you to swap out the metrics and then conditionally format those metrics and include an indicator. So as an example, here's what we're going to build. So I start with a discount and you'll see that for each country I can flag whether or not a discount exceeds a certain threshold, in this case 50%. But I can then swap this between profit and profit ratio. And you'll see it's all just one table. So how do we do that in Tableau? Well first, let me go ahead and I've gone ahead and connected to sa uh, the sample EU Superstore data set. And I'm going to drag country to the rows. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a parameter. So I'm going to call this one pick a metric. And we're going to make it a string data type and I'm going to make it a list. The first one is going to be profit dollars. The second is our profit ratio. And the third is our discount. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and show that parameter. So now we need to create three calculations, one for each value. So I'm going to call this my profit value. And I'm going to say if, oops, I'm going to use an IIF here. Pick a metric, oops, pick, pick a metric equals profit dollars. Then I want to go, no, I'm sorry, then I want to do a comma. I want to just want to return the sum of profit, else null. So that gives us our profit value. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the default number format for that. Make it uh, currency. And I want my negatives to be in brackets. So let's hit OK. And now let's do it again. We're we'll creating another calculated field. Let's call this one profit ratio value. And here we're going to say if the pick a metric is equal to profit ratio. Then we want to do sum of profit divided by sum of sales, else null. Hit OK. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the default format for my profit ratio to percentages, no decimals. Hit OK. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and customize that because I want my negatives to be in parentheses, like that. And then lastly, I'm going to create one more. Let me move this over a little bit. And I'm going to call this my discount value. And I'm going to say if pick a metric is equal to discount, then we want to do the average discount, else null. Okay, and then our discount value is going to be also percentages. And let's make that one, one decimal. Okay, so now if I drag these into the table, all three of them into the table, you'll see as I swap out my, uh, my values, okay, it looks like I have an issue with my, with my profit dollars, so let me what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change my parameter. This is just going to, the value here is just going to be profit. But I don't think Tableau likes the print the brackets, but I'm going to display it as profit dollars. Okay, so now let me go in and change my profit value. And let's just make this profit. Like that. Okay, so profit ratio, profit and you'll see how the value in the table swaps out based on that. Okay, but we want those all to be in, uh, in one field. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually remove measure names from the view. And I'm going to remove uh, measure uh, that from the filter, take measure names off, like that. Okay, so let's just clear the table and get back there. And what I want to do now is I'm going to, in, I'm going to do an in field 
in, in the column field. And I'm going to just create it for zero. And I'm going to set the axis to go from minus one to zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and format this table and get rid of all the lines. So let's go here to the lines, choose no grid lines, no zero lines, and no axis rulers. Okay, good. So now we can go ahead and hide that header. And let's grab the edge of that and make it smaller. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put my pick a metric up here in the columns. And you'll see that that shows my uh, profit field here. So I'm going to format that. Go ahead and line that to the right. And let's make it a Tableau medium. Okay, so that's good. And uh, make that black. Okay, so I wanted to match the country. So now what I need to do is uh, I need to go ahead and throw all three of these fields, that I, these calculations I created, onto the label shelf. All right, so now when I swap these out, you'll see that they go nice and neat like that. Oh, discount doesn't look like it's working. Did I use the right field here, discount value? Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to go into my field, and I need to go ahead and move them all onto one line. And then my alignment is going to be left aligned. Okay, so now discount should work. There we go. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to color code these. So you see I've got a couple of negatives here. I'd like those to be red. So let's go ahead and create a calculated field. I'm just going to call color. And this is going to have three conditions in it, one for each metric. So I'm going to say, first I'm going to just create brackets. I'm going to say uh, uh, pick a metric equals profit and profit value is less than zero. So that's going to return a true if it's negative or pick a metric is equal to profit ratio and profit ratio value is less than zero or pick a metric is equal to discount and Uh, my discount value is, let's say we want to flag anything greater than 50%, so I'm going to say 0.5. Okay, so that's going to return a bully, and it's going to, either going to return true or false. So let's go ahead and grab our color, and our, our color field and drag that to the color shelf. All right, so now uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the trues red. And let's go ahead and make the falses like a dark gray, something like that. Okay, so now if I go through here, I should be able to see my colors. Okay, but something's not quite right here, so let's go back into our label shelf, and let's go ahead and reset this. And if we go profit, okay, ratio. All right, so what is happening here? So let's go back into uh, we need to go ahead and match the mark color. There we go. That's what I forgot to do. And I need to go back in and move all these back to the front. Okay, so now if we swap through these, you'll see that they color code just right. Okay, I like that very much. Okay, but now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and throw a little star next to the ones that are negatives. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create another calculated field. I'm just going to call this my indicator. And I'm going to say if... Uh, color, then, and that's going to basically say if the color is equal to true, then I want to just return a star. So I'm going to go over to my handy dandy Unicode uh, option here, and I'm going to go ahead and select the star and copy it, paste it in there. Oops. Let's try that again. Let's copy and paste. Otherwise, I want to return a null. So hit OK, and then I'm going to take the indicator and also put that on the label. So now I need to go back into my label shelf, and again, I just want to take this, move it to the beginning, and I'm going to stick a space in there so we have a little bit of breathing room. All right, so there we go, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on overlapping just to be sure. And now we've got a nice, neat table that helps also highlight 
the indicators. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the little stars help draw attention to the ones that, that are problems. So hopefully you found that useful, and I'll um, uh, hopefully be back soon with another tip. Have a great day.